Hey guys, this is Anthony Morganti from AnthonyMorganti.com. This is episode 36 of Lightroom Quick Tips. In this episode, I'm going to show you a brush tip. Now I have this image of this wind sculpture and I already did some adjustments to it. I did basic panel adjustments, tone curve adjustments, and I did lens corrections. Now I'd really like to enhance the sky and to do that I'm going to use a brush. So I'm opening the brush tool and the first thing I really need to do is reset these sliders back to their zero detent position. And to do that, the easiest way is to double click on the word effect. And when I do that, they reset down to zero. Now I want to warm up this strip of sky down here where the sun is. So I'm going to go to the temp slider and I'm going to move that to the right and I'm going to go to the tint slider and move that to the left. I want density and flow at 100 and I want feathering at 100 also and I want auto mask checked. And I want a brush that's just going to fit in there perfectly. So when that is ready. We're just going to brush in this warmth in this little strip of sky down here. Now what I found with me at least if I'm processing images for a long time like an hour two hours my eyes get fatigued and my brain gets numb and after a while I tend to really overdo it with the processing especially with color I make the colors way too gaudy so I'm gonna make this really overdone so I really already have it kinda of too warm anyway but we're gonna go to saturation and turn that up I'm gonna make it even worse I'm gonna turn clarity up I'm gonna make it brighter even like that with whites up so it's really overdone all right, so I have this one brush and I painted that strip of sky. Now that light, of course, would be reflecting on the lake. So I want to get a second brush uh, to paint on the lake. So we're going to double click on new. When I do that, it resets all these sliders except for the tint and the temp. So we'll leave those alone and we'll paint that on the lake. Now, of course, this looks really over, overdone on purpose. Okay, so I did this, and a couple days later, I come back to this, and I look at it, and I go, oh my gosh, you really overdid it, Tony. So I want to bring everything down. Now, what I could do is I could click on each brush individually and readjust every slider down a little bit. Now, sometimes that's a lot of work. There's many images where I'll have six or eight brushes on there, so, you know, that takes a long time. There's an easier, faster way. If you have the tool open... You'll see in the top right hand corner there's this little black triangle. That's called an expose triangle. Right now it's open. It's showing us all the sliders in the tool. If I click on that triangle, it collapses down and there's one slider left called a mount. Now curiously, when I open it, if you look, there's no amount slider when it's open. It's only there when it's closed. That amount slider is kind of like a volume control for the tool. So I really overdid it with the tool. So I could click on this little black expose triangle. So I get the amount slider and then I could just dial this down until it's more acceptable. It's a lot faster and easier to do that and then to go in there and readjust every single brush uh, to get it, you know, more <laughs> pleasing to the eye. So that's it. That's the amount slider and it's hidden in the brush tool underneath this or you know when you click on this expose triangle. Now that tool or that I should say that amount slider is also available in the radial filter. Just click on the expose triangle. There it is. And in the graduated filter again you just click on that little expose triangle and it's there. So if you find that you overdid it with the brush the radio filter or the graduated filter use the amount slider and turn down whatever it is you did so it's not as um, not as strong of an effect anymore so that's it for this episode of lightroom quick tips i hope that helps you with your post processing i'd like to thank everyone that watches my videos thank you very much if you guys could do me a favor i really do need your help i really want to improve the quality of my videos and i want to expand my videos by doing a lot more types of photography and stuff in my studio and stuff out in the field um, but I really do need your help. If you could go to my website, anthonymorganti.com, in the top, you'll see a link 
that says, I need your help. Click on that link, and there's all different ways you could assist me uh, for this quest to do better free photography videos. Um, and a couple of them don't, won't even cost you a penny. So if you could do that, I really would appreciate it. That's it. I'll talk to you guys soon.